Okay, my last video got a little confusing towards the end. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna do the same type of problem and I'm just gonna try and uh, keep it together uh, better. So here we got um, another, we're, we're, we're gonna try and simplify this. We're gonna try and get rid of the radical and then we're gonna write our answer in terms of X, okay? So we if we substitute, Right off the bat, we're faced with this expression, which is nothing more than four tangent squared theta plus four. Okay, all right. And then we'll factor out the four, okay. Okay, now we got an identity that we can use. And I think we actually, um, we, we derived this not too long ago in our last problem. We found out that using the Pythagorean theorem um, with trig identities, we found out that tan squared plus one is equal to secant squared. So this is equal to, and it looks like the square root will cancel out. So I'm gonna go this way now, so I don't run out of paper. We're gonna get two equals absolute value of secant theta. Now here's where we ran into our problem, and that's that, and it's not really a problem, it's just x was equal to two tangent theta, wasn't it? In our problem, okay? So, now we need to draw a triangle to get, get down to the bottom of this. Okay, because what we're trying to do is is we're trying to write our answer in terms of x instead of theta because see this was f of x not f of theta okay so we're gonna draw a triangle and we have tangent right here so we know we're gonna need this side and this side to to get to get things done All right so what I'm gonna do is if I divide both sides of this by 2 notice how I get tangent of theta being equal to x over 2 and tangent is of theta is opposite over height or opposite over adjacent. So let me go over to my triangle and write that in. Okay. Now, looks like my original uh, sub or my uh, final answer had a secant theta in there. So I'm going to need my hypotenuse. So I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. That's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I just uh, you know re rewrote it like this. And if I take the square root of both of these, I get c being equal to, since this is a triangle and we're dealing with a length, I am not required to write the absolute value in that case, okay? Because the length is not negative. So, Here's our side of this triangle, okay? And let's just kind of make a border around it so we don't get confused. Now our final answer was equal to two secant theta, which is also equivalent to two times one over cosine theta, okay? one over cosine theta. Cosine of theta in this case is two over a radical. So we end up with two multiplied by two over square root of four plus x squared. Okay, two distributes inside of here. And we're ending up with our final answer in terms of x. Okay, so you know we did our simplification, you know we went ahead and did our substitution and you know we ended up with two multiplied by the absolute value of secant and we just wrote it in, in terms of x instead of theta. It's, it's, uh, that's the proper way to do it. And we did that by drawing a triangle and using our trig functions, okay? 
All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.